Welcome back to our channel. The SCMP report suggests that the US's semiconductor export sanctions could lead to unforeseen outcomes, especially within China's semiconductor sector. Interestingly, the sanctions do not apply to legacy chips, defined as those using 28 nanometers or older process technology. This exemption is due to their extensive application in crucial devices and the belief that they pose no national security risks. In this video, we will dissect what really happens with the actual chip production in China and why China is continually growing stronger even though the US sanction is still in effect. Before we begin with this intriguing story, we appreciate that you can subscribe to our channel so that we can bring you more content similar to this one. Thank you so much for your support. Let's continue. This exemption has triggered an impressive 40% increase in China's production of legacy chips in the first quarter of 2024, with a record 36.2 billion units manufactured in March alone. This increase highlights China's dedicated efforts to strengthen its semiconductor production capabilities, a strategic move that started in Q1 2019 with the aim of decreasing reliance on foreign chip imports. The focus on mature semiconductors is supported by significant state backing and strategic investments, allowing China to swiftly enhance its production capacity in this area. Consequently, China is poised to potentially become the worldwide leader in legacy chip production, with forecasts suggesting that its mature process production capacity could secure 39% of the global market share by 2027, an increase from 31% in the previous year. However, in spite of these advancements, China's semiconductor industry continues to face hurdles, particularly in achieving complete self-sufficiency. While the nation has made considerable progress in legacy chip production, its dependence on chip imports remains significant, with semiconductor imports rising by 12.7% in Q1 2024. This reliance underscores the ongoing challenges in attaining true self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing. Furthermore, China's inability to compete in the field of advanced semiconductor nodes presents a significant hurdle to its aspirations. The absence of access to sophisticated lithography tools, which are essential for the production of cutting-edge microchips, hinders China's capacity to compete with industry giants like Intel and TSMC in this crucial area. In conclusion, while the US sanctions have unintentionally stimulated China's expansion in legacy chip production, the attainment of true self-sufficiency in semiconductor manufacturing is a complex and ongoing task. China's semiconductor industry must strike a careful balance between increasing domestic production capacity and reducing dependence on foreign chip imports to achieve its long-term strategic goals. We will follow up on this topic and report back. That's all for now and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching our China Tech Update. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, like, and share our video. We will bring you more similar contents like this one. Thank you again for watching.